Hello, my name is Kathy, and today I'll be talking about the attributes of the next Bach flower essence, Centauri. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. When trying to determine which Bach flower essence to use, it is necessary to understand the characteristic and symptoms of the essence from a psychological position. This is because the Bach flower essences work on the subtle bodies of the human subtle anatomy field. For healing to take place, you need to look at the situation from this different level. So, what are the characteristics of sanctuary? Centauri is used to treat people with a weak personality, lack of self-assertiveness, servility, independent, uh, fretfulness, selflessness, self-deception, or self-deprivation. It is used to treat all conditions related to pathological cheerfulness or servility. In daily life, it is used to treat shyness, excessive cheerfulness or excessive willingness to accommodate the needs of others. People with Centauri Syndrome are characterized by an excessive tendency to devote themselves to others. These people have a pronounced sense of altruism. When harmoniously expressed, the Centauri type is an altruistic, cheerfully empathetic human being. The happiness of these people depends upon the well-being and happiness of others. These people are always ready to serve others or to be of assistance in times of difficulty. These people are selfless in the best sense of the word and because they are so natural and innocent by nature, they are often taken advantage of, not just by others, but also by the century person themselves. These people feel an intense spiritual feeling of devotion in their selflessness that flows with their inner purpose in life. This inner purpose and self-realization, as a result of it, is an important part of a fulfilling and happy life that makes full use of all of their talents and possibilities. The positive expression of Centauri loves to serve others without being a servant. They feel a sense of helping themselves as they are helping others, and they are selfless in order to fill, fill the needs of their true self. The warm, positive feelings that, they, that their behavior inspires in others is increased by the, by the more because they give of themselves freely and with no strings attached. The negative century person has issues with this innate selflessness that very often leads to a complete loss of themselves. And this negative sense of devotion can result in a sense of resignation within the century person. The wonderful, good-natured service to others that these people provide serves no good and only helps create inhumane relationships that are marked by the thoughtless exploitation of the century person. Basically, the century type simply allows themselves to be used which very often brings out the worst in other people. Hence, the exploitation of these people by others, which very often ends up in some extremely abusive relationships. The negative expression of the century person has no strength for self-assertiveness on their behalf, and so they work to fulfill with devotion all the wishes of others that are imposed upon them by others, often highly abusive people. Ultimately, they then become weak, frustrated, or depressed, and are unable to lead their own meaningful, independent lives because all is sacrificed for others. They are very much like animals whose will has been broken, and their goal in life is to be used and abused. 
Very often you find these people wasting their lives in self-sacrifice, caring for egotistical, thoughtless family members, or they get used by institutions, or are subjugated by anyone who appears to wield some kind of authority. As pure as their behavior may seem to be, and as pleasant as it can be for anyone who enjoys living off others, it is very damaging to the century person themselves. On the surface, it seems easier for them to simply give in to these pathological compulsions to serve. But, in the deepest recess of their being, it can create an inability to look at their own legitimate needs and to develop their own personality, which in turn leads to discontentment and depression. The false morality that they very often call upon to replace their lost happiness can do nothing to rectify the situations they find themselves in. These seemingly pleasant, ready to be exploited, and never daring to undertake self-realization people resemble a plant growing in an unfavorable location. The weak or totally broken personality, the general lack of strength, and the fundamental absence of joy and happiness show that something is not right with these people and they are forced there and that a force is working counter to life's basic principles of growth and development it is very common for other people in the company of a typical century person to feel sympathetic for their plight in in life but never joy century is the essence of choice in treating self-resignation and pathological denial it restores personal strength and promotes consciousness, the awareness of self-worth and a sense that we all have the right to lead our own lives. Century should be given to dependent, shy, or excessively cheerful people, especially children. It enables them to claim their rightful place in the world at large. It is often used in family therapy for relationships that are dependent or exploitative in nature. Some common combinations of century with other Bach flower essences are as follows. Combined with agrimony, it helps with pathological good-natured behavior. Combined with serato, it helps with dependence due to a weak personality. Combined with chicory, it helps with selfish self-sacrifice. Self Combined with gentian, it helps with weakness of the personality. Combined with gorse, it helps with compliance and tractability due to hopelessness. Combined with hornbeam, it helps with feelings of stress and overwork due to dependence. Combined with larch, it helps with the readiness to help from an inferiority complex. Combined with mimulus, it helps with the tendency to go along with others due to fearfulness. Combined with pine, it helps with self-sacrifice due to guilt. Combined with red chestnut, it helps with worried, anxious selflessness. Combined with walnut, it helps with dependent and being easily influenced. Combined with wild rose, it helps with resignation as a result of a weak personality. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.